Urban Dictionary, the most reliable source, defines life admin as one's personal day-to-day -day chores that are of an administrative nature. In her book, Life Admin, Elizabeth Emmons defines it as the office type work it takes to run a life and a household. This is not a commercial for her book. But if you do want my book review and my personal book summary, I'll be sending that out in my newsletter on Monday. For this video though, I was inspired after reading this book to set up my own life admin day and I wanted to show you how you can organize your own as well and some of the key lessons from this book. So the first step to setting up a life admin day is to figure out exactly the type of admin that you personally do. One way to do this is by looking at your current to-do list and making note of what sorts of tasks you have on there. Pay special attention to tasks that have been on there for a long time, like that package you've been meaning to take to the post office for three weeks, or that bag of clothes that you've been meaning to donate for three months. If your current to-do list is not really representative of your full plate of normal life admin responsibilities, you can take a look at your trigger list. The trigger list, if you're new to this channel, is what we use for brain dumping. So it's basically a list of the different areas of responsibility of your life, the various kinds of tasks that you do. If you want a bit more of an explanation, I talk about it in my weekly planning video. I've also put together a little summary of categories that were mentioned in the book as well as some that I thought of on my own. So just feel free to pause this screen, take some notes, I'll give you time. Okay, so once you make a list of all of your life admin that one time, you can use it anytime you need a life admin day in the future, or you could set a recurring event on your calendar and just have that life admin day happen automatically. And then every time you take a look at your list and you just ask yourself, which of these items needs to be done? category I'm working on first is research because I think that is my life admin weakness. It's the stuff I'm most likely to put off because it's just so nebulous and it gives me a headache because I don't know what I'm doing. So I think the four main annoying things that I have to research are accountants for my blog, uh, lawyers or other types of people who can help me with working legally, setting up a business or whatever in Spain. Tengo pasaporte lituano, pero uh, soy residente de los Estados Unidos. Hmm. This is what imposter syndrome is, I think. I feel like I'm on the phone, like pretending to be an adult, pretending to be a business owner, and I have to make sure that other people don't find out that I'm just pretending. Uh, travel insurance for getting to Spain. And then I was also thinking about insurance for my equipment, because I'm gonna be bringing over like my computer, camera, other camera, everything. Um, and then I thought I should look at credit cards. I don't know, I have a personal checking account and a business checking account with a bank bank here in Madison and I also have a credit card with them which I got purely for the purposes of building my credit but I barely use it so it might not even be helping with that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to open an account with a Spanish bank but then I also feel like I should get some other kind of credit card because I'm pretty sure I get literally no benefits from the one that I currently have. Something like cash back or travel miles or whatever those are, points, something. <laughs> So according to Elizabeth, there are four different life admin personalities, none of which is objectively the best. They all have their own specific strategies and we can learn something and borrow something from each of them. However, I do think, I would guess that in this audience, we probably have a disproportionate amount of super doers. So I would encourage you to take a look at the strategies of the other three personalities. So the super doer, they are on top of things and feeling great about it. They optimize and systemize things and they delegate and outsource intentionally. The admin denier is not doing their admin, but they're feeling fine about it. Out of sight, out of mind. They rebel against admin, they try to escape from it, and they try to reduce their admin by simplifying their life overall. Hashtag minimalism, hashtag more with less. The admin avoider, on the other hand, is not doing their admin, but they feel bad about it. So they delay admin and they deflect it when it's handed to them, like... Do I have to do that? And they tend to go with their gut rather than taking the time to research their options. Finally, the reluctant doer, they get their admin done, but they do not enjoy it at all. This personality tries to minimize their admin by choosing low admin activities and options in the first place. Phase two of my life admin day was errands. So first I got myself some coffee and then I went and donated these bags of clothes that I've been meaning to donate for months. I finally got around to looking through them one final time and then packing them up into bags. I went to a store that sells secondhand books in order to sell them, the books and the journals that I didn't want anymore. And I also returned a library book that I checked out pre-COVID. So literally one and a half years ago. 
I got $6.20 for my books and journals. In other words, I now have two dimes that are going to sit at the bottom of my wallet for the rest of time because no one even uses coins anymore. Alrighty, the last stop is the post office. So yeah, the last thing that I needed to do was fill out a bunch of forms and mail college documents to the Wisconsin Secretary of State. It's honestly very confusing. All done. There are also different styles of life admin, and if you know your personal style, you can make doing admin more personally enjoyable. So do you prefer using techie gadgets or old school paper? Do you like making things pretty or do you like efficiency? Do you like to get things out of the way right away or do you like to wait until you have a chance to complete something right? Do it thoroughly. Do you prefer getting a lot done in one sitting or short sprints of work time? Do you prefer doing life admin stuff with other people or by yourself? So once you know your personal style and how you like to work, it's time to plan your life admin day. One way that you can organize this list is by grouping things based on the physical or mental context. You could also group them from most difficult to least so that the whole process gets easier and easier as you go. Or you could try alternating difficult tasks with easy fun ones so that you get a little reward each time you finish something difficult. And finally, the last stage of my life admin day was just a bunch of little leftover computer tasks. Nothing that's too difficult, nothing that takes too long. It's just, it always gets pushed off the to-do list somehow. Okay, so I had this fantastic idea for sort of a going away gift for my parents when I leave for Spain. There are these digital photo frames. You've probably seen them. We got one for my grandma when we visited her in 2019, but we got her one of those where you have to like plug in a USB or something. And so we loaded it up with photos and we gave it to her but it's not gonna update with new photos until the next time we visit Lithuania because she for sure is not gonna be able to figure out how to take out the USB and download photos from the cloud or whatever. So I thought for my parents, wouldn't it be fun if I got them a Wi-Fi digital photo frame? I think there's like an app where you can send photos to the photo frame with your phone. And so while I'm in Spain, all the cool photos I take, I can just send them to their photo frames and they'll wake up and there's a photo frame on their bedside table and they can see what I'm up to. I think it's a super cute idea. So they're pretty expensive. I think on average, they're probably like 150 because the Wi-Fi is an expensive feature apparently, but I think it's gonna be very meaningful and useful in the long term. So I am splurging on my parents today. One thing that helps to stay on track is to plan out a rough schedule for the day. So kind of using time blocks. We talk a lot about time blocks on the Bliss Bean, but looking at your calendar and trying to figure out roughly how long each category of life admin will take so that you know if you're staying on track. And then also deciding which of these tasks on your big long admin list are the least important so that if you are running out of time, what can you push off until the future and what has to get done today? At the end of your life admin day, it's a good chance to reflect on how the whole thing went. How could you simplify the tasks that you did today in the future so that they can be more efficient or completely unnecessary in the future? So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was a very interesting experience for me. I actually really enjoyed uh, comparing credit cards and having a call with an accountant. It made me feel very grown up, even though it was very confusing. It was also very satisfying to go and donate those clothes and books that had literally been sitting in the hallway for months. Um, and that library book that I had for like a year and a half. And that's just what a life admin day does. It takes that weight off your shoulders. It makes you feel refreshed. So I hope this inspires you to do a life admin day of your own. Let me know in the comments what your lingering tasks are. What is it that you're not getting around to? I already admitted to having a library book for a year and a half. So it is a safe space down there in the comments. Feel free to admit to any embarrassing admin stories that you have. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and I will see you next week. Bye!